Okay. E Dominic Skanathani. Good morning. It is just turning 8:30 in the a.m. on Thursday, my favorite day of the week, August 10th, 2022, in the lunar cycle. Bucky bists oats and dates be when the choke cherries ripen. And I am on the west side of town here, on my way to pick up a raccoon at Dalhousie Court. Um, second raccoon that I've caught at this residence and he's saying that um, there's a lot of wasps flying around the animal uh, so I gotta come check it out hopefully the, there's nothing wrong with the raccoon probably hopefully just use the washroom while it was in there and stuff and that's what's attracting the wasps um, I got a little bit of footage to show you something the most funny um, ever the most funny ever rattlesnake misidentification call. You know, somebody calling me saying that they found a rattlesnake and then I go there and I find out it's something else. I got the best one. I got the lottery winning rattlesnake misidentification coming up here in this video. But yeah, my days have been pretty busy. I'm going to take the camera around with me today for the Thursday so you can see. No doubt we'll get some calls and we'll start off this morning with the raccoon. situation is. Morning. Morning. Hey. Right there. Oh yeah. I had to move him because the wasps were just swarming. Yeah, he probably used the washroom or something and Yep. Yeah. Hey little guy, you ready to go? <laughs> I brought another trap. Okay, so how are you doing? You ready? There you go. I got the door open for you. Yeah, he's gonna go right for this tree, but this tree is caged for beavers, as are most of these trees here. He's gonna have to go in a ways and find something else. Or climb up that uh, fencing. Oh, we got a rattlesnake call. Hello. Can we get a left turn on the way? I'll give you guys to a back turn. Can I pass you? Uh, sure. Hey, Mike. I have Ryan on the line. Go ahead. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. Hi. Uh, sorry to bug you. The Helen Schubler thought that you need a lot to uh, assist. We have a baby bat that got in our house and got onto a sticky trap like where he sits. Oh. And we're not exactly sure what to do because it's pretty stuck. Like one of its wings is actually stuck. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, I've never dealt with that situation. I don't okay. know. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. don't I don't know. I uh, would I would imagine like Dawn dish soap maybe or something to try to separate it without uh, tearing it. Gee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've never dealt okay. with that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you for your help. You bet. Okay. See Bye. ya. Fucking sticky traps are inhumane anyway. Why would you have that for anything? Oh. So yesterday, I get a call through the Rattlesnake hotline. There's a guy... Uh, his accent sounds maybe Greek, I think, possibly Italian, and he's telling me that there's a rattlesnake at his mom's house, and his mom is elderly, um, she sees a snake in the backyard, she thinks it's a rattlesnake, uh, 
would I come take a look at it? And so I rush over there, um, met by the old lady, and well, you'll see the footage here. No. It's a uh, fabric. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, no, no worries. This is for for gardening. No. Uh, they keep it for uh, keep mia. weeds out. <laughs> oh, sorry. No worries. <laughs> So I thought that the stuff I pulled out of that lady's yard was like landscaping fabric or something like that. Like I, you've seen in the video, I was trying to tell her that, you know, that stuff is used for weeds and this kind of thing. It wasn't until after I left and really took a look at it a little bit closer. <laughs> at first I thought, oh no, this isn't landscaping fabric. This is some kind of lace panty. And then uh, I looked even closer and I think it's not a panty at all, but uh, but a uh, a garter. So she had misidentified, thinking she had a rattlesnake when she really had a garter snake. Any case, I am. It's evening now, and I am in uh, along Mount Sundance Landing, looking for 386 who say that they have a rattlesnake in their backyard. <coughs> and uh, I told them I thought that was cool on the phone and they thought, to them it's not so cool. So we're gonna go pull it out of there. <laughs> so. so it was right in the middle so right of the here. and I was so loaded of flowers, you could see and I turned around but I think it went underneath the sink. It again. went underneath. Yeah, the it went under. I don't know. You can hop the fence if you want to. Oh, that's okay. If it's on its way, all the better for it, you know. But it went out to the your phone would come in and by one of these things. So you're gonna have a lot of swelling and pain. Yeah. Um, you're gonna need to go to the hospital. Right. And. Uh, well, yeah. The sooner you get there, the quicker they control the swelling and all of that. Um, there, you can expect to be in there for like three days. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Expect to be in there for like three days. You get um, probably ten to fifteen vials of antivenin. Really? If it, if you were in the states, that's a hundred thousand really? dollar hospital bill right there. Really? Yeah. But here you're. It's free. It's free. <laughs> So, do you think, okay, so it went away, do you think it'll be back? Or? No, no, no. I think it probably was just mixed up getting into your yard, and so he's gone on his way. Now, is there something that we could put up so, like, it doesn't come back? Or yeah, you want to, you, you want to, you want to close all the gaps, you know, that are as wide as a, as a rattlesnake can fit through. Yeah, it went, like, where you're standing, that's where it was, right there. Yeah, see right this? Right back underneath, I see it. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, well, you're you're against the field here for the time being. So, as long as you're against this field, your your likelihood of having rattlesnakes goes up. Oh yeah, we know that. Yeah. This is odd. They're doing their migration right now. Yeah, that's what the wife was talking about. 
Yeah. Yeah, I see it on Facebook. And yeah. I'm just like, okay, I know who to call. <laughs> Just want to give an update quick on a couple of things before we go. This was the bull snake that I picked up the other day that has some kind of neurological damage. I suspect somebody hit him. Hit him with a rock, hit him with a shovel, something. He's still alive, but who knows for how many more days. taking care of him while he is. So that's one one patient over here, so to speak. I just got water in there. Just keeping him dark and warm. The other case that I wanted to uh, revisit is this little guy. See him there? Little neonate. I am testing, or have been testing, to see whether or not he would eat a grasshopper. I don't know if you can see, but there's a two-striped grasshopper hanging onto the top of the enclosure there. It's been in there now, I think, more than 24 hours, and uh, but hasn't come down, so I don't know whether the snake will eat it or not. But the experiment is ongoing until I see um, neonate rattlers showing up at the dens. I won't release this guy, but I will release him once they are going to the dens. Um, I do want to remind everybody that I have a Patreon account under Ryan First Diver. Um, if you want to support any of my wildlife work, there's tiers for even like $3 a month. You won't even notice it gone, but it would make a big difference uh, to me in terms of uh, offering me some kind of time freedom eventually and financial freedom to have better care for all the all the calls that uh, for animals that I receive and that kind of thing. So anyway, that's there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry there were no live animals today. I thought there would be, but I mean, other than the raccoon in the morning no live snakes um but you did get that little footage from the day before so enjoy